All right, so what we're going to do here is basically um, we're going to loot this crate that is on the other side of this hallway, but it has some really good stuff, and then we're going to kind of go through weapons. Um, and I, I don't take too long doing it. I take about a minute. So if you're not interested in seeing that, skip to about one minute and 50 seconds in the video because that's when the cutscene starts but uh, what I basically do here is yeah it's 209 damage with 51 shots before reloading and it's got an accuracy of 33 and my old one had like one like really crappy so here I'm just going through all my other assault rifles, making sure nothing's better than that. And they're not. And don't worry if you have like a crap ton like I do and haven't sold anything because we're going to head back to the Citadel after this is completed. <clears throat> and yeah, here I'm switching out shotguns, pistols I don't care about. I'm going to switch out sniper rifles for that one. And there we go. And now we're just going to run up here, and I think we're going to have a cut scene. Yes, we are having a cut scene. And I will be back after we are done with that. Okay, so basically by activating that alarm or not act, yeah, by by not sending them our way, we basically don't have to fight a bunch of geth. Um, but on the flip side, if you do take the um, if you do take on the geth soldiers, you get some paragon points, which yeah, up to you. It, it doesn't really change anything, though. It's not like anyone extra will die or something. You know. So, anyway. We're heading through the Krogan Breeding Labs, which is really the only video title I could give this. Um, so, yeah. But there will be one Geth Juggernaut up here. No matter what side you take. And so we're just going to blast the crap out of him. By lifting him into the air force pushing him and then killing him before he hits the ground so going to continue on after I figure out where we're going and quick saving so right here is I'm not sure if this is the one where I epic fail we'll see I had a really bad decryption here yeah, I think this was the one where I epic failed. Yeah, that was it. Nope. Okay, never mind. That There was one I thought that I really failed poorly. So... Right now we're overlooking these guys. You can go down there and save them, but they're all probably just... I never let them out of their cages. Because they're probably indoctrinated like these are but yes oh wait this is the one where I fail epically I think do I even okay well never mind um, yeah right there I just fast forwarded me going the completely wrong way just basically in the same room right there so you guys didn't miss anything that was kind of poor editing on my part but I will fix it trust me you know what I'm doing so anyway this is the breeding lab itself right here here, the game's warning me that my inventory is almost full, and it does get full by like 20 items by the end of this. Um, if you guys see my mouse, 
it my game started like glitching up um, for like some reason and you'll see my mouse just like keep appearing and it, it's kind of weird but um and it was like appearing while I had my cursor out so I didn't know what was going on so really the only thing you have to fight are these husks and like one Krogan scientist guy and here my weapon got overloaded and it wasn't because I was shooting it was because uh, somebody used some biotic power or something. I had no idea what was going on. This person just got a taste of my awesome ass shotgun. And they got owned by it. And here my weapon was still overheated. And so this scientist just wanted part of my shotgun, I guess. Wanted to die to a good weapon. So, anyway, uh, there are just some husks here. I don't know what the heck where they were doing there, but um, they're dead now, so it doesn't matter. And after not going in the correct direction, uh, yeah, I end up going to like the end of this hallway and just not going in the correct place. So. There we go. Taking more items, getting some meta gel. Meta jelly. Um, but, you know, the good rule of thumb for Mass Effect hit the M button. Or the M key if you're lost. And there we go. Wait. And, of course, it's right there. So we're going to head on in. I'm not sure if we fight. Yeah, well, I think we fight. Oh, wait, no, we don't. There's more talking, so. Wait, no, wait, nope. There's some really weak geth outside here. And next video is just cutscenes, so yes. And then we move on to the more interesting stuff. That cutscene's really interesting, so if you haven't seen it already, then watch the next video. So, yes, see you next video. And go to doctorandproductions.com. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah!